some say the future lies in space among the stars. Some believe it's computers that our destiny is tied to the silicon chip. Others say communication or transportation or medicine. One thing you can count on in our future is oil. Petroleum flows through the very heart of our business and industry. It will continue to be our most valuable and versatile natural resource. There was a time when finding oil and gas and getting them out of the ground took hard work and luck and men with a dream, oil men. Today the dream is still there and the hard work, but now the men are professionals and use knowledge and technology to create their own luck. Geologists, geophysicists, earth scientists and engineers, these are the oil men who will take us into the next century each one vital to the business of locating and producing oil. Oil. The first task is to locate it. That means knowing where to look. Petroleum is what remains of plants and animals that inhabited the Earth's lakes and seas millions of years ago. As these creatures died, they were covered with silt year after year. The layered sediment sank beneath the Earth's surface, where pressure and heat compacted the silt, turned it into stone, shale and limestone and sandstone, trapping the organic matter with it. Over millennia, heat, radiation and bacteria transformed this matter into gas and oil. The petroleum separated from water trapped with it and floated up through the porous shale until it reached an impermeable barrier. Here, it collected in reservoirs, hundreds, thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of feet below the surface. Not open caverns filled with fluid, but oil and gas within the rock itself, inside the pores and fissures of the stone, like water in a sponge. The job of finding oil and gas belongs to geophysicists and geologists and engineers, professionals who have learned how to peer into the earth itself. They can read the return of a shockwave, picture layers of rock it is bounced off of thousands of feet below and map the structure of the earth like looking for fish or a submarine with sonar in fact they have a host of space-age technologies at their command gravity meters to indicate the density of rock formations magnetometers to locate sedimentary rock by detecting fluctuations in the earth's magnetic field Radar and remote infrared sensing from aircraft or satellite to reveal salt water intrusion, mineral deposits, or faults, all pointing to possible reservoirs. These technologies suggest the likelihood of petroleum at a given site, but it's up to the team to decide whether it's worth the massive investment required to see if it's really there. If it is, the drilling engineer is brought in and drilling begins. The drilling engineer works with reservoir engineers to determine the reservoir's potential for profitable output. Sophisticated instruments are sent down a hole no more than four or five inches in diameter, miles into the earth, to a place where temperatures go beyond 600 degrees and pressures exceed 15,000 pounds per square inch, a place where no man has been. Core samples are taken. Cuttings and electrical potentials, pressures and penetration rates are analyzed. Everything that might provide evidence of the quality and quantity of hydrocarbons in the well. The team decides whether to commit to completing the well. It falls to the production engineer to construct and manage the facilities that will support the well's day-to-day -day operation. To keep the well producing at optimum efficiency, often in exotic locations off the beaten path. The engineer's concern is the reservoir's drive, the natural force that pushes petroleum to the surface. It might be the pressure of water from below or natural gas from above, from gas dissolved in the oil or simply from gravity. If the drive isn't strong enough, specialists are brought in to stimulate the well. Fluids are pumped in, water or carbon dioxide, or chemicals are mixed with the oil to free it from the rock. Thick, heavy oil can be injected with steam to thin it so that it can flow through the porous rock to the well. 
A technique called directional drilling permits as many as 30 wells to be drilled from one site. A refinement, horizontal drilling, allows producers to reach thin pockets of oil and gas, sometimes miles away. The rule of thumb is this. You put the well where the oil is. And that's not always on dry land. As it turns out, a lot of petroleum-bearing rock extends far offshore. Large reservoirs have been discovered in the Gulf of Mexico, the North Sea, and the Arctic Ocean. But most offshore reserves have yet to be discovered. Steel and concrete platforms that will support drilling and production rigs are towed to distant sites on barges and placed on the ocean floor. These gigantic structures can handle every phase of production. Drilling under the sea presents all of the problems found on land and more. Some tasks can only be performed by professional divers in mini-subs or by remote controlled robots. The oil and gas must be loaded into tankers or transmitted to shore by undersea pipelines, sometimes from facilities located entirely on the ocean floor. When a platform cannot be attached to the bottom, the well is drilled from a ship equipped with an array of computer-activated thrusters which counter wind and current to keep the ship stationary above the hole. Spacecraft technology. Environmental engineers are challenged to improve the systems that prevent the escape of petroleum and waste so that drilling can continue in harmony with the environment. Fish and other marine creatures make a home beneath the platform. Coral can take a foothold. When its useful life is over, oil and gas companies working with environmental groups and government agencies may sink the structure where it can form the core of a new reef, a permanent habitat for marine life. The men who found oil and gas with just luck and a dream are gone now, but the industry they inspired remains great. People make it great. People who drive the exploration and drilling and production, the refining and transportation, marketing, manufacturing. It's a gigantic industry propelled by technology and steered by visionaries. It's the rock that our energy future is built on. It's part of everything we make. It's part of everything we do. It's part of our lives. Be a part of it. There's a need for people like you today. Bright, energetic, with a new way of seeing things. Technicians and engineers and specialists of every kind. We need young men and women with the vision that will guide our industry in the 21st century. Your future can be as bright and rewarding as you want it to be. Contact the Society of Petroleum Engineers today. They'll send you the information you need to make the decision of your life.